Hey guys, what's up? Wolfie Station back with another video. As you can see, we are back with another cartoon creepypasta. In this cartoon creepypasta, we're gonna be reading the Vam. The Vampirina? The Vampirina? I hope I say that correctly. If I didn't, then. <clears throat> you know what? Whatever. And you guys, thank you might like it. Let me know in the comment below. Also, let me know what else you guys want to see in my video. In my next video, and I'll do that for you guys. So, <clears throat> with that being said, let's <clears throat> get with the video. When I was a kid, I loved watching Disney Junior and all of its shows. Normally, whenever my brother and his kids over, I would normally put on Disney Junior to entertain them. However, I had my I had myself one such incident with one show. That one thing, that one being Vampirina, that made me switch over to Disney XD. Not because Phoenix and Ferb was on at the time when Vampirina was on. Which thank goodness my brother my brother's kids like. But it was one such bloody incident that made me never watch Vampirina again. I was outside on chilly day in December. Plowing the road when I suddenly when suddenly a delivery man pulled over, I thought that odd. I don't have children, nor do I give myself presents for Christmas Day. The delivery man pops on into my mailbox. I took it out what he put in there, and it was a CD, but something was off. There was nothing on it. No scratches, no images, no sharpie. What could it mean? Of course. Being a curious jack wagon, I am. I placed it in my CD player and pressed on. The first thing were the words Vampirina at the top. And play and inject on the button on a black screen. The atmosphere in the screen was not comfortable, but of course, I pressed play. When the episode came on, there was no music, just Vampire Arena singing, singing the main theme. No backup singers or anything either. And the setting was all dark at, and at night. The title of the episode said Bloodlust in a voice that sounded like a sad girl. Okay, that's not normal. I said in a tone that was I said in a tone obviously disturbed. The episode started with Vampirina in her room shaking, no tears. Just shaken, next to her was a book that had a page that said about how vampires need blood to survive. It was obvious that the page title It was obvious she read that page. That's when Vampirina spoke up. She said how could how? How could I be? How could I have been so blind? Why didn't I see this? All the time, her voice sounded like a sad teenage girl. After a few minutes of crying, her tone, she tore out the page and showed her parents, who were both immediately shocked. They never told her about the blood. This is when things start to get sinister. Vampirina asked where blood comes from. The parents wouldn't speak. 
That's where she took a sharp toothpick, stabbed herself in the arm to make herself bleed, and that's when she realized what she had to do. You lied to me. After all this time, you lied to me about everything. Then she pounced like a mountain lion on her father and bit him so hard his blood was gushing out of his neck. Like a burst pipe, Vampire Rina now crying tears of blood. Ripped the skin of her father's neck and sucked it all in. Okay, this is definitely not normal, I shouted in a horrified tone. I tried to pause the TV, but Wingling's thought popped up. Whenever I tried saying, you can't go back now, so I endear whatever was next. By that time, by the time Vamp Vampirina was done sucking her father's blood, she turned to the mother, pounced on her, and bit hard on her face. All the while, her mother screamed in a frighteningly realistic tone. Vampirina sucked her mother's blood like it was an accident. More. I need more to survive, she said, her voice getting shaky. Vampirina then finds Demi the ghost. Slices his neck and sucks his blood from the inside, Demi screaming as realistic as possible. Vampire then finds Georgia, the gargo gargoly, or whatever that is. I'm sorry, <clears throat> and stabs her in the neck with a garden. Trolls. Trouble. Trouble, my bad. Trouble. Vampire Rina sucked her blood, but this time Georgia was silent. The trouble had taken a fatal hit to her neck. By the time Vampire Rina Shaggy finally gets over to Poppy to Poppy's house and stabs her in the back of the neck. Afterwards she sucked all of her blood out, turning Poppy into a human pincushion. Unfortunately for her, Bridget would was also outside at the time, undesirably shocked at what Vampirina did. What did you do? What did you do? She screamed, scared. Vampirina to rip off Bridget's face, slowly hearing Bridget's agonizingly realistic shrieks of horror and pain. Adam Bridget's face was truly ripped off. Vampire and sucked her blood. Then the screen fades to black. And that was it. She killed everyone she cared about. The camera goes to a fade of all the dead corpses. Bridget, Bridget to puppies, Georgia to Demi, then finally to Paris. Then to Vampire Rita's room, where she's shaking and crying more, her hands stained with blood. Of those she killed. What have I done? I never wanted any of this. I never wanted to be a vampire. Her voice is full of regret saying that. She continued to cry for a half minute and then 
She shakingly goes to her desk, writing a letter saying, I have caused so much, so many monstrosities moving here into Pennsylvania. I don't think I can continue here or in Transylvania. This is it for me. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, everyone. After that, she lays on the floor. After that, she lays it on the floor in front of her and shakily gets out a stake from her toy box. Then I watch in horror as Vampire Rina stabs herself in the heart with the stake, instantly killing her. That was the last straw. Fortunately, the credits rolled by then, but instead of the normal credits, it's instead, it's instead, instead of normal credits, it's instead Vampirina's bedroom with her dead on the floor stake coming out of her back. <clears throat> Afterwards, I started to cry, proceeding what I just watched. Normally, these last episodes don't normally hit me hard. This was a whole different level. Seeing a character from a past suffer like that hit me where it hurts most. After that, my screen glitches into a new report about six murders and a suicide all at the same report. And what's most horrifying? Almost all the people who were murdered in the same names and the people who were murdered in the episode. <clears throat> the only two main different were horrors, horrors who was supposed to represent the dad and Jess, who was supposed to represent the mother. Even the person who committed suicide would name Vampirino. And they were described as deprived from any blood at all. After the report went over to the screen, then said, We apologize for any digression we may have caused. Afterward, I contacted, I contacted Lucas via Discord and asked him about the episode. Lucas started to follow. Lucas stated the following. We do not know how it was created, but whatever you do, do not watch it. And it contained horrifying stuff. When I contacted Denny and Junior about it, they said, ha how did you know? How do you know about the episode? I don't know where it came from or how it got delivered to me, but one thing for certain, I'm never watching Vampire Arena again. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little cartoon last episode, creepy pasta. <clears throat> if you guys have, let me know in the comments below. Also, um, send me your own creepy pasta stories. I'll be happy to read them. And if you guys have any other stories you want me to check out, um, let me know of that too because I would love to read your, you know, your um, your stories. So thank you guys so much again for watching, and. I Oh wait, that was C guy in my next video. This is Wolfie Station and peace out.